What has the, the first uh, week or so of bowl practice been like? Uh, it's been fun. Uh, got to see a lot of young guys coming in and, you know, uh, you know, working with the coaches and, you know, getting their fair share of reps. So it's been good. Talking to a few of the guys, they've said that you guys feel a little bit fresher coming into this bowl season. You guys haven't been lifting quite as much or the first week after the Apple Cup last year, you guys did more work. Did you kind of feel that way too? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, Coach Brown, he's, he's done a, you know, a real good job. I'm not saying that Coach Loco hasn't, but, you know, Coach Brown, he, he's taking care, he's, you know, doing a good job to take care of us. So. And I think Hunter, I think it was Hunter that said yesterday, you, by the time you guys got to the game last year, you guys were kind of footballed out and kind of just eager to get to the game. Do, do, do you think that kind of played a part in, in the, the score of the game or kind of what happened once you got on the field there? Uh, yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, this year, you know, it's, it's a totally different story. And, um, you know, we have a, a bigger stakes, you know, we have a chance of having the best record in WSU history. I mean, we're all, we're all locked in, we're, uh, we're bought in. Is that, is that something you guys are talking a lot about is 11 wins and having a chance to really put your stamp on the best season here? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I think that's been the goal, the, the overall goal uh, coming into this ball. Bowl practices are a time for some of the younger guys to get more reps, too, and for experienced players like yourself to help them out. Has Coach Wilson you know, talked to you at all about anything specifically that he wants to see from you throughout this two-week period? Uh, not really. I mean, he's been you know, really focus on the young guys more, you know, developing them as, uh, you know, Peyton's uh, walking out the door. So, you know, he's uh, getting everybody else ready for next year. You were a young guy just a couple of years ago. It's Peyton's last game. What did you learn from just playing alongside him the past two years? A lot, man, a lot. I mean, he, he's developed me uh, into a, a, a young leader, you know. Um, you know, with him, you know, not playing uh, last year, he's really helped me, you know, uh, step up mentally three or four practices into bowl season now just from your vantage point as far as some of the younger linebackers go has anybody really been making a name for himself uh ricky baker <laughs> ricky baker he's, he's a walk-on but he's, he's doing a lot of work man he's, he's a good player um you know uh you know dylan he's he's gonna move to uh middle next year so he's he's learning it's kind of a new position but he's learning and uh I, th I think he's, that's going to be a good spot for him. And then Coach Wilson sent out another tweet this morning, or yeah, last night about just the sunset. I mean, thinking back to when you were a recruit, was social media and tweets put out by assistant coaches something that you paid that much attention to? Yeah, definitely. I mean, um, just you know, getting an idea of how things are because um, I was I was all, all the way in San Diego, so um, you know, before I even took my visit, I would you know check out the coaches' tweets and. You know, see how see how it is. See how they you know talk and react to us, and talk how they talk and react to the other uh, players. So, have you guys had had a lot of chance chances to watch Iowa State? So I know the coaches have been kind of recruiting. They they haven't really dug into the film yet. But have you guys as players looked at looked at the film? Yeah, I have. I mean, they're they're a good team. They're a real good team. Uh, they're a physical. Uh, you know, they're they they run heavy, but they they know how to pass, and they have uh, a lot of players that you know make good plays. I know they have a receiver that. Uh, you know, makes sports center play. So, you know, we have to we have to be aware of that. And their they're running back, too, is also kind of an All-American caliber yeah, player. Yeah. What, what, what does he show you on film? Uh, he's a tough back, man. He, he does it all. I mean, he's an all-around all -around football player, and we have to respect him. I mean, though, James Williams has left off the All-Pac-12 team. He's a talented player. The Pac-12 is pretty deep at running back yeah. this year. I mean, do you take any sense of, you know, comfort or familiarity in the fact that you've already probably played running backs as good, if not better, than David Montgomery? I mean, yeah, I mean, uh, we've been playing good bags all year, and uh, I mean, we still have to respect the fact that, you know, he's a, a t uh, NFL NFL guy, so I mean, it's going to be a challenge for us. Who was the toughest running back you think you had to play against this year in conference play? Uh, I don't know. I mean, there is, it's, it's, too, it's too close to call. I mean, it's been a lot of, it's been a lot of good backs that we played, especially uh, this year and last year, so. You guys played Eastern Washington earlier, so they, they, they just advanced to the FCS national title game. I, I know the, the game here was kind of lopsided, but could you tell that they were, they were kind of a, a team capable of doing that? And what did they show you guys that game? Definitely. I mean, uh, it was early in the season, but they were, they were you know, they are a great team. You know, they, they had a, a, a well-balanced offense, and I think their defense was pretty good, too. Um, their quarterback, uh, did, did he get hurt? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's the but, second string that played today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the second string, yeah, he's, I heard he's pretty good. So, yeah, they're a good football team. Man. I, I'm not surprised at all that they're advancing to the championship. 
We're working on a story on Darian Moulton, too. You guys play different positions, but just having a four-year starter playing behind you, just mm -hmm. what does that do for you individually, having someone like Moult on the field out there? Uh, it, gives, it gives me confidence. It gives everybody else on the field confidence that, you know, he's the type of guy that he's a, he's, he's a quiet dude, but um, we, he expects us to uh, make plays, and, you know, uh, he just has that type of leadership on the field that, um, you know, that um, is quiet, but... He just brings that that force into the room, into onto the field. You know, it's just he's a great all-around player, great friend, great uh, great player. You know, going off of that, what do you think people are going to remember most about Mold from his time here, both players and fans alike? Uh, just uh, how great of a person he was. I mean, if you're lucky enough to know Mo, he's just a funny dude. He, he's you know easy to talk to um, on the field. He's just an outstanding player. Um, you know, he's just a all, he's a good friend, good friend to me, you know, and uh, I, I'm gonna miss him. Were you hoping for a third straight Holiday Bowl to go back to San Diego again? Uh, <laughs> not really, no. Destination, <laughs> like more of a destination bowl. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I was hoping, I was hoping for a, a, a better bowl. Um, I was kind of everybody on the everybody on the team was kind of tired of the Holiday Bowl, so um, it feels good to be in the Alamo Bowl, and we, we can't wait to play. You know anything about San Antonio or? No, nah, I've never been. I've never been to Texas, but, yeah, it's going to be my first time. Yeah. What are the odds Coach, G Coach Leach gives you somewhat of a history lesson on the Alamo or something? It's, San it's, San it's inevitable. It's inevitable, <laughs> man. It's going to happen. You know, he has a history lesson for everywhere we go, so.